Hello, what's up, people? Welcome to a new video about studies. And uh, in this video, I'll explain about how the student life and uh, what the masters in autonomous vehicle engineering will offer you. During the last videos, we went, we were, there were so many people who were watching the videos, but 75% of, uh, of the viewers haven't subscribed to my channel. So I, I request you to subscribe to my channel and let's get into the video. So I've been a master student uh, for the last two years. So this is my final semester in autonomous vehicle engineering. So I have to uh, do my graduation soon. But I'll let you know what the procedure is going to be happen in this uh, particular master's degree. So I have written some questions which were asked by the students uh, from Instagram and YouTube comments. So I'll explain all of these questions and answer them. So what is autonomous vehicle engineering? Autonomous vehicle engineering is a master's degree in Naples, which is offered by the University of Naples Federico II, where you study about autonomous vehicles uh, like cars, uh, marine and aerospace. That's all. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. So what is autonomous vehicle engineering? Uh, it's a master's degree where you learn about uh, the system control systems, the design and uh, road safety and stuff. So in this uh, particular co master's degree, you will understand how the vehicles will work um, and control themselves during the uh, in the real life environment. So basically, when we talk about this course, it's not easy. In the same way, it's not hard. But it's somewhere in the middle between easy and hard. So it's not medium, but close to hard. So people, when you uh, understand about this course, there are different aspects that are including in this course, like the design, control systems, machine learning, and artificial intelligence, and uh, road safety, and different uh, aspects in the course. So all these uh, different aspects, you have to understand and clear the exams by in the way of pro projects. So when you study all these aspects, you might understand something, you might not understand the, some concepts. So this might lead to some confusion, but in this way, the course works. So if you are good at some design part, you can go with the design. But uh, if you are good with control systems, you can go with this. But overall, the course has different aspects and different uh, sectors in this course. So you can specialize in any one of them. So that's how the course works. To pursue autonomous vehicle engineering, you should have a bachelor's degree uh, which comes with a mechanical or a computer science or electricals, electronics, automobile engineer, but not hearts, okay? So that's how this course works. You need at least a basic knowledge of how the mechanisms work or how the coding uh, works and a little bit of coding is needed in this course. So if you have this, this will be helpful during the course. But if you are a zero learner from all any of these concepts, then it will be very hard for the course. So the course typically takes about two years, but apart from two years, two years is the study period where you study four semesters, uh, six months each, three for the study and three for the exams, three months for the studies and three months for exams. In the same way, after four the semesters, you have the time, you should do an internship and a thesis. You have to perform an internship in a company or under a professor and write a thesis on your internship or a professor or a topic that was given by the professor. That's how the, then you present your thesis and then you will be graduated. That's how this course works. <music> Topics covered in this are vast. For example, they are dependent on each other, but each car needs all of these concepts. But you cannot build a car, a car on yourself, but you need to know at least some of them. So that's why they have included all these topics. And uh, mainly you can specialize in any of them, but the topics that are covered in this uh, course are design, control systems, uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and uh, road systems. These were the main that I have uh, focused on, for example. These were the topics that were highlighted, but the branches of these topics were already are in the course. So you just have to understand, but I'll provide a link in the description where you can see the course, all the subjects that were taught in this course. Most of the course is uh, done by the projects. They can be coding wise or they'll be giving some sensors for you to work on or uh, some robots that, we, that you have to work. I'm saying robots because you will have to understand the basic of how to control a particular system. So 
will robots will be given to you in the second year or some co in the first year courses so you have to control them so when you can understand how to control a small robot then you can apply them in the real life environment on a car that's why they are providing these kind of um, uh, topics but apart from this yes there are some pro- uh, hands on projects uh, and most of the exams were project based so you have to work on a uh, project and then give it to them so to evaluate your grade for the particular subject someone asked me how do autonomous vehicles communicate with each other and their infrastructure basically that's what you will understand and learn during the course so uh, it's not a small topic but you have to uh, complete the course to understand how it works it's a small part of the course but you will understand slowly all the teaching will be done by the professors who have done their phd's over 20 years back so they have some pretty good knowledge on what they are teaching and uh, they were not hesitated to what you want it can be a stupid question or a random question in the middle of the class but they don't care they just they'll answer you at any point of the time and they can they are ready to provide their own time by creating some slots in their schedule and all the professors are really friendly so if you have some if you have some doubts during the course you are free to ask and nobody will make an objection so specific uh, softwares or programming languages for example Uh, you need to learn matlab no matter what because the whole course is on matlab most of the courses each and every course will ask for a matlab uh, because the we understand working on matlab so for example if we see control systems we have different types of controllers so each controller we cannot run it um, on practical so the first teachers on a computer software which is matlab So if you know how to understand the MATLAB and Symlink easily it will be a very good plus point for you and in the same way if you have any if you are from a computer science uh, background and you want to switch your career towards a autonomous vehicle engineering then you need to understand the python or uh, any programming language which is related to machine learning so but python is the one, is the one we work on but if you have any other coding language that will be really will helpful for you uh, these are the main types of uh, programming language that we need c python for the software you need to know about kitia uh solid works uh, autocad matlab of course uh if there is any other new software of course they are going to teach it, teach you from the basic but they are going to be fast they don't spend time on basic stuff so for example if you if there is software which is not the main aim of the course for example we have sumo which is a particular software which is used in particular course so they don't teach sumo they just learn you how to work on it they don't go from the basic but because you need to learn the software by yourself but they try to teach you in a basic manner but they don't take weeks and weeks of classes for teaching the software that's how it works but it's better you work at the home if you take the course then that will be much more helpful yes there will be opportunities and internships that will be provided by the university faculty so depending on what you choose see you need to understand this in the first year all the courses will be uh, basic for everyone everyone in the course has to take all these courses but in the second year you have a choice to switch between three types of uh, courses which is road vehicles marine and aerospace in these three you have to choose uh, any one of them and then you have to switch your career accordingly for example if you are want to be on ground vehicles uh, ground vehicle include cars vehicle vehicles such as buses trains and everything in the same way in marine ships of course and uh, submarines and uh, in the uh, submarine in the marine stuff you will know how to design uh, how to control these vehicles autonomously in the same way in the aerospace they you work on aircraft drones and this kind of stuff so you have to choose your career accordingly in this now about the internships when you choose your career accordingly when you need an internship to graduate as i said so the professors who are teaching these courses will try to provide you internships accordingly even the professor need to gain their reputation so they teach properly and they'll try to give the students to particular companies to gain their internships if you are good enough the company might hire you but we were not sure but the but yes there are some professors who will try to provide the internship opportunities for you 
So, for example, if you have enrolled into this student, enrolled as a student, so you will have your own university mail. This is only for, to communicate with yourself, to um, with the professors, or if you want to send mails towards a particular um, company, you can do this with this mail. And then you will be provided with some softwares according to your course. So, some softwares they might provide you with the uh, uh, university's login. So, when you provide, when you access to the particular software using the university mail then you will get a free access so that's how this works even the teams uh, you can log in as a university student so you'll have a free tier teams account and that's how it works in the same way yeah, there are some study halls that you can uh, uh, benefit that you can get benefited from you can study for as many hours as you want because the university starts at 8 till 6 so you can study in the study hall for as much as you want because the classes will be only for three days in a week so if you want to study you can go to the study halls and study as much as you want those are the basic facilities that you'll be provided with yes there are some also many partnerships with industries for example the autonomous vehicle engineering will be taught in san giovanni campus which is in san giovanni barra so this campus will have the teaching of the autonomous vehicle engineering and some bachelor's classes but uh, in the same in the same campus there is a other building where you'll have various other academies and different kinds of companies who are trying to uh, trying to train the students and you can use these opportunities so for example if you want to be a coder and you are from computer science engineering and you want to switch from uh, computer science to autonomous vehicle engineering in the same way uh, you want to learn something new you can apply for the apple academy in the uh, in the San Giovanni campus. In the same way you can apply for Micron Academy, in the same way you can apply for 5G Academy. There are so many other opportunities in the San Giovanni campus provided by the universities, um, University of Naples Federico. This course is four year old. So the first course students were Italians and there were two, they were, we have no connection with them. But the next year students, they are going to graduate this year uh, because as I told you, uh, there is a two years course and then you have to work with an internship and then write a thesis. So the degree is going to take a long process. So now they are going to be graduated and then trying to get a job. So maybe soon if they get a, find a job, I will try to make a video on this. But this course is very new in this particular campus. So there is not much alumni. So that's all I can say about alumni. But hopefully if we get a job, I will let you know. So support services, for example, teaching or any particular guidance. So there are so many visa problems for the students uh, who are trying to come from India or any other country because who are any international students might have a visa problem because the course starts in September, but Italian visa might take some long time to come. It might take some time to get a visa. So uh, when the course starts in September, you might miss some miss some classes. Your visa might get late. If you want some particular guidance, you can ask your friends. Or if you don't have any friends, <laughs> we can't do anything. I'm just joking. But you can ask the professors. You can sit with the professors and talk uh, and ask as many questions as you want. And you can ask them to teach each and everything. So they are ready to teach you anything. But you should be willing to ask them and book appointments for their meetings. They might be free or they may not They may not be free, but you should try by asking them. But they are willing to explain when they have time. These were the questions that were asked in Instagram and some YouTube comments. So I made a question, a list of questions and uh, made this. So to conclude, I just want to tell you this course is really good, amazing. So I, I would definitely suggest if you want to do the course related to atomic cycle engineering, this is a really good course. And I want you to be patient during the course because uh, the course might get hard during the um, lessons because you might not understand something uh, then you'll be frustrated and try to search with some other resources or anything but you might still not understand but you can ask the professor as many times as you want and the main part of this course is graduating graduating is a, a little bit hard because after the two years of course you need to find an internship and then work uh, and then work on your thesis so this might take around three months for internship and three months for thesis so it's technically two and a half years for the course 
so you have to be patient it's not like some other degrees um, for example if you go to any other country there is there are some chances that you can take the co- take the courses beforehand and write the exams before itself but here you cannot do that so you have to be patient while doing the course and um, just work hard and try to be as um, responsible as possible that's all i can say i hope this uh, video is useful if you like the video please leave a like share and uh, subscribe to my channel so that i can make more and more videos about the different kinds of courses so that's all thanks for watching ciao peace and jai